All righty, y'all. We are back with another special edition of Music Alive. We got the one and only Mr. Chase from Chase in the Dream. What's going on, how Chase? Did, how, did, yeah, how did you hey. land that jet? You I know, mean, it was I like, know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Well, you know, I just flew in a few hours ago on my way back from Dubai. And so I'm just playing, just playing. Went to go visit the prince out there. Uh, yeah, the absolutely. Episode. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for having me on, guys. I appreciate it. We appreciate you being here. And of course, if you're viewing us through the video stream sent to my left, we got the man of the hour himself, Mr. Henry Archuleta here. Right. What's Remember going on, Henry? No, uh, it's going good, man. The last interview was really nice. I mean, we got the interview. It was tomorrow. mighty nice. Yeah, it was mighty nice. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Really good. So if you're logging in, www.kuhsdenver.com, we're on a little delay right now. Uh, Chase was just uh, you know, caught in a little traffic, but he's here now. So make sure to log in, www.kuhsdenver.com. We're doing simulcast uh, with audio video. So uh, remember, it's right there on the website, Claire's Bay, onto your left side. Turn down the radio because it automatically goes on and let the video stream play. Now, if you don't want to do that, well, the radio is going to play and you won't be able to hear the video stream. So we got uh, Mr. Mr. Pittman in the house, right? Uh, and so you can see the live video uh, stream uh, via our website. We're a UHS World Communication Network. Uh, our radio station is being heard around the world now. So it's really nice to have such a, <clears throat> a nice system like this. We got DJ Jesse, of course. He turned down the house last night, tore it up. I mean, he left Castleman's in disarray after he left the place, is what he told me. He first started it out, he said it was just bumping and humping and jumping, and he couldn't stop thumping. And so after he was done with it, he said it was a grand old fun time. So here we are now having a good time. Jesse's still holding on, though, aren't I'm you, I'm holding Jesse? in as, as good You're as holding I can. Right? You are? You're doing okay? I'm You're going to be fun. able to do this interview? You know, I took a nap during my show earlier, so I'm good. <laughs> you know, so I can prepare. <laughs> okay, so let's talk to Chase, Mr. Chase. Yes, sir. We want to talk to you about how you first started singing. I mean, you got a, uh, your delivery is you know, sensational. Everybody loves you in town, loves you all over the place. Everyone knows Chase in the Dream. Yeah, you know, hey. everybody knows Chase in the Dream. And he's, he's got that beautiful name, Chase on the Dream. Yeah. Chase in the Dream. And it's, yeah. at this point, we're going to try to make that dream come true with this new medium we have and brought to here, you know, to the town. And, you know, uh, we asked you to bring some uh, music, but um, I'm not sure we have your music. Um. Yeah, I did send over some MP3s, but it was kind of kind of late, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, us brothers, we always late, man. <laughs> so we can, <laughs> we can go through the whole stream, but we will take a station break and play uh, maybe just something up there that he's played before. And, uh, but at this point, we're going to ask you, uh, how'd you start singing? I mean, there's well, got to be a point in time in your life you started singing. I tell you don't you, say in the was, bathtub. No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. I mean... You know, uh, don't let the baby face fool you. You know, I'm I'm kind of I'm old. You know, <laughs> I go way back in the days with doo wopping on the corner. You know, and uh, you know all my uncles and and cousins they all are, are band members and and things of that nature. So you know, it just came. You know, I just I started out playing instruments and and I got tired of carrying the equipment, and so I became a singer, and show it with my microphone and, and call it a day. You know. What but, kind of instruments did you did you play at first? Well, I started out with the bass, then I started playing some drums, and then I flicked around a little bit with the guitar, and uh, ended up playing some keyboards. And and so you know, I don't I'm not good at anything. I'm just you know I just know what I like to hear. So, and that's that's really nice to hear. Okay, now you've had several bands, a lot of groups actually. Right. Um, go over some of the bands that you started with, and you know some of the issues that you had. Where does these band, you know, where they started at in the beginning anyway? Well, I tell you, you know, I, I, my first band I played with was a band in, in New Jersey called Just Us. And we would travel up and down the coast uh, playing, you know, various places. And it was very, you know, it, it was it was an experience because at that time I was like 16 years old, you know, and we used to have to stretch the truth about my age to get me in some of those places in the bed. I tell you, it was I've been fun. there before. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they can that yeah. for sure. You're still <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, yeah, but you know, when we did the interview with Larry Dunn, he looked at you and thought you were 21. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that? I you know, when what? you were 21 and you played hey, it. That, that's what I'm thinking. How old are you, man? I'm only 18 right now. Well, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. You know, but uh, Jesse is a phenomenon here in Denver, and uh, KUHS Radio has uh, had the opportunity to pick him up and put him on first. And then he has taken this 
this station uh, to a new level. And uh, we've got Paul Chavez coming on board. He's from 101, is that right? Jammin 101.5. Jammin 101.5. Right. He's, he's no yeah, longer he's with us. To he's rock coming with to, us. Yeah, he's going right to rock on. with us. So right we've got Janine Santana also rocking with us from KUVO. We've got uh, Greg Rashid out of D.C. He's simulcasting on a delay. And Greg Rashid, if you're listening, uh, big shout out to you. So I'll be playing your show later on uh, tonight, delayed for all the way from Washington, D.C. We always got to do our shout outs to all of our cities that we know that are patched into us and across the pond. So go ahead, Jesse. We gotta well, like do you mentioned time. earlier, we got a new one, Kansas City. Shout out to you guys. We patched into Washington, D.C., as you mentioned as well. Chicago, Miami, New Mexico, Northern California, Southern Cal, uh, Texas, Colorado, where you got people in, in, in Las Vegas listening. So we're all over the nation right, right. now. So it's really nice to have uh, Mr. Chase Pittman with us. So let's uh, further talk to him about um, some of the other groups that you've played with. And you've held on to Chase and the Dream name for quite some time. Right, right. And very popular up and down the front range, up in the mountains. I mean, we see right. you play some of the best, um, you know, rooms in town. And there's a reason why. Now, you've got some quality musicians with you. Let's go yeah. over some of your musicians that you have jamming with you. Well, I tell you what, I've, I've had some guys for a long period of time. And and just recently, I've had to bring in some some different guys. And uh, right now, I have uh, Greg Goodlow on guitar and Keith uh, White on drums. I have uh, David Lucero on keyboards and Daniel Solano on keyboards and Art Martinez on saxophone and uh, myself. And uh, I got uh, Kenny Castro playing bass. And and these guys, you know, they're dedicated. I have a you know I have a uniform when I when I pick my band members. It's not about how good you are and, you know, and, and how, you know, cocky you can be as being a player or whatever the case may be. It's all about, you know, the us, delivery, right? Yeah, the blending. Delivery. It's, a, you know, I like to have that family atmosphere, you know, and, and you know, it's okay to make mistakes and, and things of that nature, you know. Um, I, I do have a whip, you know, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think everybody has to, but no, that's true. other than that, man, uh, it's all about family, man, watching mm -hmm. each other's back and, and just, you know, doing the best that we can to bring, you know, some, some good entertainment to the people that are out here. I tell you what, I'm really impressed by what you guys got going on here. Well, I thank um, you. You've been hearing out there a, a long from everybody, probably what we're doing here. We're yeah. trying to make a staple for Denver for doing the local acts, getting them, you know, because we got Greg Goodlow jamming on our, our Absolutely. stream too. Absolutely. And we had Greg Goodlow in here as a, you know, a guest. And, right. And we know as soon as we, we knew we, you know, we had him here first, KUBO and other people are going to start trying to uh, replicate what we're doing here because we're kind of right. a new twist to everything. And yeah, everything. Absolutely. What the heck you guys got going there? They know what we have going here. And, these big radio stations are trying to prep it up and they're you know clear channel has got nine thousand stations across the nation so absolutely they've got some money but they don't have the ideas and yeah. they don't have denver behind them. how are they going to get the denver boys in there yeah i'm actually getting ready to start a new band oh uh, really yeah i'm doing a 12-piece band uh it's going to be a big band kind of thing the name of the band is going to be blackberry jam and i'm going to debut it probably in july Mm. Um, so, uh, are you, gonna have the flavor, are you gonna have the flavor of like a Bruno Mars sound? Uh, you know, yeah, we're gonna just get yeah, to us fun, some of that. Fun, absolutely, the up, the that old school fun, thing. Yeah, absolutely, you know. just that force that you know, when you hear, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, Barry Jam come up there, shoot, it's pretty easy. I'm get telling you right you. in that chest. Oh, Ooh, yeah, man, horns, oh, just horns. I'm gonna have the girls up front. I was gonna ask you about that, that ask yeah. about the girls, thing. yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, when you have female vocalists, and there's a whole different uh, yeah. way you have to treat the, the, the ladies in bands because Absolutely. They're, they're a different uh, you know, Absolutely. side to the whole uh, sound. So yeah. let's go over that. What do you think about females in the group? Well, I've been putting it off for a long time. You guys <laughs> will tell you, man. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> but I've been putting it off for a long time, man. I tell you, you know, I started out with Fat Daddy. You know, we didn't have any female vocalists. I'm one of the original Fat Daddies and. uh then uh, once I started chasing the dream, the guys were just like, man, we just, just get a female vocalist, man. And, but man, I've had female vocalists before and, uh, you know, no disrespect, but it, it didn't turn out very well. So yeah, there's a reason for that. You know, you've got, uh, 
with, with the ladies, you know, they take a lot longer to get cleaned up. That's yeah. just the nature of the beast because they've got makeup. They Absolutely. Got Absolutely. They've got to do. Absolutely. And uh, then when they get there, a lot of people tell them, oh, you're so fine. You're so sweet. And then, you know. But I'm giving in. So I am, I'm, I'm interviewing female vocalists as I speak for Chasing the Dream. Do you, have anybody, in, do you have anybody in mind? Yes, I have a young lady I'm working with now. She's from, she's uh, from Cuban descent. Uh, she is her name is uh, Michelle Monet Brazel. Ooh, beautiful name, man. Oh, nice. beautiful nice. girl. She can sing. She's got great stage presence. So we're kind of working her in right now, and I'm looking at a couple other people. But uh, what kind of music I'm are you going to be doing with that? Everything, mm -hmm. everything. We're definitely going to put some uh, Latina twist on what we're going to be doing oh, here sweet. Yes. Uh, uh, pretty soon and and so you know and we do a lot of you're gonna have members. artists this, this absolutely yeah. art's going to be in there you know oh, he's got he's got a yeah. no, horn jam i mean he just gets yeah. he's part of your field you know yeah. what i mean? i said i wasn't gonna i wasn't gonna mention his name today because he's supposed <laughs> to be here today. We, you know we gotta we gotta give him a shout out yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shout out to you Marty, this is a <laughs> This is a consolation <laughs> shout out. <to> you. <laughs> you know, bro, you know, I've known you since you were a little guy, you know, so we go back to since he was 10 years old. Wow. Right? Wow. So um, I try to tell everybody, I go back with everybody a long, long ways. And I've known Artie a while back. So uh, mm -hmm. and I like to go out and see you guys. I'm always in the crowd checking it out. It's it's fat. Man, those guys are my brothers, man. Uh, uh, Art, David, Daniel. Yeah, they've been with me the longest, and uh, those, those are my brothers, man. I mean, we're, 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 nothing comes between what we got going on. What are some of the best rooms you like playing, or do you like playing out in the shopping centers? You know, the shopping centers are yeah. going to be a big thing yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody's uh, competing for the, you know, yeah. you know, who's going to bring the best group. And you guys, <laughs> you know, they're all the best groups coming out to these shopping centers and playing in some of these uh, yeah. events. And yes, it's, it's really comfortable. It's, it, you know, you show up and you play, and people are out party and enjoy exactly. and then they have usually they have it right by a, a pub or a right beer, beer right place or a liquor it. store so. those are my big my favorite venues right now uh we're starting to do some different things as far as opening up for national acts uh working with uh, a guy named jim and i here in town and uh hopefully we can get that going but uh right now yeah those outdoor concerts during the summertime those concert series are probably the thing to do. How many, go ahead, go ahead, sorry, sorry. No, 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 you're, you're Maybe, good. Let me just say that too. You know, speak about you know opening up for for big acts and stuff because you may not know this, but I was there when you opened up for Heat Wave. I DJ that show as well, and for New Year's Eve on. one time. And you know how how many national acts have you opened up with for? You know, oh, how, man. how many have you worked with? Man, I I mean it's I it's been a lot. I've I've done you know Ohio flares. I've done. Shy Lights, I've done Cheryl Pepsi Riley, you know, Nita Baker, I've done, I mean, you name it, SOS band, I can go back, Confunction, I mean, I've done it, I've done a lot of bands opening up, and it's fun, you know, because you get to mingle with those guys, and you realize that they're just people, too. Yeah, now here's you know? the thing, yeah, here's the thing that I've been, you know, I'm trying to call out all the bands in general, I'm trying to get everybody... Oh, Tower Power. 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 Yeah. 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 Tower, Tower, great. Shout out to them. Of yeah, course, yeah. they're, they're my good friends as well, you know. Yeah. We go back a, a, a while with them, too, so. They did a yeah. big Lodo Festival here in town. It was jam-packed. Yeah. You know, me and, Chase, people me and Chase did a gig with each other called The Voices of Land Rock, and they brought him out, and he sang, you know, all of the Tower of Power songs you could think of. Hey, man, big good. hits, and that was great. Great that was gig. Good. That was How about good. you're still a young man? Did he, he did not oh, want what is hip? Oh, yeah. oh, what, what is it? Hip, clean like, the so house very up. hard to go. Yeah, all the Lenny yeah. Williams classes yeah, with was, them, you know. Yeah, that was nice. That was, man. That was really nice. That was a fun because we had those guys. Yeah, we had members from Tower of Power in the band. Members, yeah. from, you know, Tierra Malo. They all came together for one night as one band, and we invited Chase to come. Yeah. and put Chase. his Tower of Power portion in. And he got and, after oh, it. Man, oh man, and we got the party going. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was that good. was good. You know, just to be up on the stage with those guys, man, be in their presence, really humble. Well, you say that, yeah, you know, this is the reason why we're doing these interviews. Uh, you're uh, at the point in time where you're the popularity, you're the famous. And we're going to try to make it that way with our new medium that we have here. We want you guys, we're calling out all the groups to start cutting all those originals and start putting them right. out there. So when you're opening up for one of these big bands in town, you shine so much more than they do. And they'll say, whoa, who was that band? Mm -hmm. Oh, just catch them on KUHS radio, so we'll spin your tunes. Right. That's what Thanks. we're doing. You know, like you got 
we've talked about what um, we got Sue Charles, we got uh, Greg Goodlow. Greg Goodlow. Yeah, he's on YouTube. Oh my God. Yeah. Helen's Bradshaw. Big Helen's shout out Bradshaw. to you, Helen's. You've got some dynamite. Right. You've got Lonnie Hill and uh, right. he's oh, all star man. Yeah, he hasn't let up in one bit. He's doing a great job. He's got some yeah. good tunes. There's some there. good musicians here in town, man. They really are. Man. And so what we want to do is we want to take it up one more step for everybody by you know having you know your stream up there because we call it the all night stream. So we just mix up everybody's music mm -hmm. in between all the good jams that we have on there. And of course, we have to rotate all the time because we. You know the right. uh, royalty rules. Right. You can't play nothing more than three times. So sometimes you hear some odd music on our radio stream, but that's just the way it's got to be. So let's talk further. What are your plans for the future? Well, like I beside said, the, the the good band, beside the the Blackberry Jam. We're going to take the Blackberry Jam. Too. Well, you know, I I, I think I'm going to be more. Uh, you know, that that band, that particular band, is going to be more. Uh, not on the road, but we will be touring quite a bit. I'm taking these out of country. Uh, I want to be able to take that. Now, right now, I'm looking for some uh, some agents and things of that nature to, to kind of take us to that next level. Uh, you know, Colorado is is a premier place to, to perform. I mean, those mountains up there with all those ski resorts and, and those towns up there are, it's, it's unbelievable how much you know, how lucrative it is here in Colorado. So it's going to be, I'll hit, I'll play and stay in Colorado around the summer months, and then the winter months, I'm probably going to be hitting the road with this new band. Ooh, sweet. And so we're not going to have you in town no more, so I'm not going to go to the shopping center to party hard. No oh, well, yeah, you, you know, me? I'll be it's back in the summer. I'll be, here. I'll be here in the summer. But when it gets cold, I'll probably be, like I said, Dubai. I'm working on a three-month tour there right now. So. And, and the cool thing about uh, Colorado, uh, we had a famous studio up in the mountains. It just closed. It sold for a lot of money. Wow. 60, I think it was $60 million, Caribou Ranch Studios. Um, the likes of Earth, Wind & Fire, mm -hmm. if you knew that, they came out of Denver. Uh, Philip Bailey, mm -hmm. uh, Larry Dunn, um, I think it was uh, Dar uh, Andrew Wolf, uh, the right. saxophone player. Saxophone player. And uh, we also had... Uh, uh, Rocky Duarte in here with uh, mm -hmm. he was uh, with uh, Freddie Henchy Fred Freddie uh -huh. mm -hmm. Freddy, wow. the Freddie Henchy fame and uh, he had so much to share he started out this interview process and he said it's going to fall like dominoes everybody's going to be here and everybody's going to share some nice things and the nice things he said about he brought out the the, the thing about Earth Wind and Fire being here Caribou Ranch up in the mountains where Earth Wind and Fire recorded their I'm pretty sure it's their first album a lot of people with know, Chicago. Uh, wow. Frankie Beverly and Maze. They, oh, they did wow. some stuff out wow. there. My, one of my mentors. Uh, yeah. Michael Jackson was up there recording. Uh, everybody in the world was up there. We got some great wow. recording studios here. You know, mm -hmm. Maze, they made a song called Golden Time of Day and they recorded that song here in Golden. Wow. So, you know, there's I a lot of great you. studios. Yeah. I mean, you can, can you think of any other place you would rather be up in that? The serenity of mm -hmm. the mountains and mm -hmm. your atmosphere. So no, like all one republic. They nice. were up, he was up, up in Boulder. Nice. Mm -hmm. He was running from his landlord. <laughs> 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 Couldn't pay his uh, his bill, you know. So then he had all these songs he had written, and then uh, uh, Adele got a hold of one of them, and they both got super rich. Uh, right. So it's like really nice. And so we expect that from you. So you gonna do it? Yes. You're ready. You're waiting. Yes, you're, saying, you're chasing ready. the dream. Yeah. 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 Is he yeah. chasing the dream? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and that name, you know, that name it's, itself. It's, it's awesome. It's cool. It's, you know, it's not that I'm chasing a dream. I'm, no. I'm, I'm Chase. My name is Chase. They call me Chase, and I'm in my dream. And it's it's it's, it's been good fun. right yeah. now. Yeah. It's You've got your ups ride. and downs, right? I mean, oh, yeah. Absolutely. And especially with, uh, you know, musicians. Because oh, they're so goodness. touchy. I mean, it's oh, like, my goodness. They're, they're, they're very, yeah. very sensitive yeah. because they play music. And that's yeah. the key. You know? exactly. A lot of them just all of a sudden, they jump on this horse, and they say, um, Right now, man, and you yeah. look at him like, huh? Yeah. And so you have to change up. And now you got Greg Goodlow. And man, the man's a monster on that. Yeah, he and, and he wanted to play. You know, I mean, you know, he wanted to play. We were doing some venues he wanted to get into, and I was more than happy to have him. I mean, you know, he's. And did he fit right in? I mean, he just got right in. Great just, personality. He, you know, he. Did he do a new flavor for the band? Or is he, oh, yeah. Yeah. He brings, you know, now we can do some, some different things, you know, as far as smooth jazz kind of things. And, uh, you know, and he's really into that, you know. But uh yeah, he's he's coming along just, just fine, you know. Have you had to change your drummers? Yes, I did. Matter of fact, Greg Goodlow's drummer came with him. <laughs> and so we we kept that. 
we kept that little click right there going. So, so this is a good heartbeat. Oh, good my heartbeat. goodness. I just in the slam. You yeah. know, that's what it's all about. Being mm -hmm. And he knows the dynamics. Of it. Yeah. So when you're ready to sing the dynamics, yeah. boom, yeah. you're down. You know? Well, I'm, I'm saying right now to myself, I'm saying, okay, we sound pretty good right now. I can't wait until these guys are doing these songs on a, just a, you know, normal basis, just regular basis, regular yeah. basis, just playing because they're, they're good. Where they're are you guys good. playing at next? We have the Hofbrau tonight. Oh, that place is nice that they went to the big venue yeah. and moved it over to that big, huge place. Absolutely. And when you pack it out, it's like playing for a concert. I mean, it's yeah. nice. You know, so, you know, these are the slow months for bands, you know, in November, we do a lot of clubs. And things. So, what did you, you know, say you were playing for New Year's? Did you tell us you had a New Year's gig? Well, you know, I I'm, I haven't made up my mind yet. I got three, you know, in the fire, three irons in the fire, and I'm trying to figure out where I want to do my New Year's uh, performance. I got a place up in Fort Lufton that's asking for us. Um, that new yard house is that what oh, it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they're asking for us, and uh, there's another private party. That they won't even tell me the name of the person that wants to hire us. So it's up in Vail. And uh, so. That's kind of cool. You, yeah. you go up there and it's this big, huge gig. You yeah. <laughs> you you yeah. ever hit some of those? Those are some nice ones. Yeah. So. They just hire you. Here's your money. Get up here and. You know, Absolutely. Where are we going? And a lot of the there. mountain towns are looking for live entertainment from Denver fans. Because, mm -hmm. like I mentioned earlier, you know, Moses got an offer up there and a couple other bands got offers up there. So mm -hmm. it's booming up there as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Moses Jones put out some pretty good uh, music. He's got that album out. And he did a different flavor. He says uh, the blues, you know, he to the, switched over to a little bluesy sound. So oh, right on. That's kind of nice. He was. Uh, what was it nominated for a couple of awards he went out to hollywood right after we did our interview with yeah. him and oh wow. that just goes to show how popular you can get if you do your own songs you know or, or, if, you, or if you come here on kuhs or radio. if you come here yeah. and then all of a sudden <laughs> yeah you got sue charles uh, she's going to do the tonight over there in chicago shout yeah. out to you yeah. uh, uh sue charles such yeah. uh, if you're listening in you know you're in chicago you're probably patched in listening and laughing because you only wanted to do a half hour here. <laughs> we, told yeah. we told you we told you so right now we're uh, talking to Chase Pittman of Chasing the Dream here on KUHS Radio, Internet Radio, and Streaming TV. So if you want to log in, you can do so on www.kuhsdenver.com. Listen to the stream uh, or turn off the stream and watch the video. He's here in the studio. You can say hi to him. You're welcome to do a shout out. The, our camera's right there. There you go. And so uh, you can do a shout out to anybody you want. Well, you know, I always I include my kids. I have four kids, Mason and Maya and Micah and Chase. Uh, you know, so I want to say hello to my kids out there. I told them I was going to be on this morning, and uh, they're all excited. They think, oh, dad, he's famous. And I'm like, you no, are, not you really. Are. See, but, this <laughs> is our case. Now, this is what we're trying to tell everybody, right? Uh, Jesse, we're trying to let everybody know this is what we're trying to accomplish here. We want you famous. We yeah, want absolutely. to, you know, we're, mo we're going to do a thing called monetizing our bands. Monetizing by, you know, if you can get your uh, own original music going out there, we want to play your music worldwide. And if it starts really flowing, it gets very popular. You know what that means? Absolutely. You sell a million copies and then it's game over. Well, I got that CD going. Let's jam. And How's that coming along? It's great. It's well mixed. Uh, yeah, it's it's great, man. It's, it's, it's kind of got the old school feel. And we're working on our second one now, uh, and it's going to be influenced by a lot of uh, David Lucero songs that he written and, and produced. And uh, you know, David Lucero is a junior. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, his dad was the founder of Jamaica. That's correct. We had them in here. Yeah. When was it? About three, four weeks ago. It's been four, four weeks, weeks already. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, him. yeah, him and his son. I tell you, the third. If you haven't talked to him or seen him yet, let me tell you, this young guy is unbelievable. He plays Un keys as well. Oh, yeah. Right? Bass, guitar, drums. Getting he, after he yeah, is, yeah. And a voice like I've never heard. And uh, he'll, he'll be up and coming. Mark my word. Oh, sweet. And, so. and you know, and that's the nice thing. You see what uh, the kind of talent we have here in town. And, uh, you know, as we get going with, with pushing this uh, KUHS radio, uh, you're going to start seeing... Uh, uh, just a whole load, I mean, a load of new music coming out of Denver. And we're going to present this to the world, New York, Chicago, Miami, D.C., uh, New Mexico. We're going to push it all the way into Southern Cal, Northern Cal, Arizona. We want to go everywhere, including Kansas City. Now, some of the music that uh, Jesse does, I mean, we're going to be, you know, some of these bands that, you know, play Mexican music or 
uh, Norteña or uh, Cumbias, whatever, they're gonna, we're going to try to push that all the way into Mexico because we have the capability of going anywhere we want mm -hmm. around the world. Some areas of the world we're not allowed to video stream, but we can audio stream. So mm -hmm. there's variables here. So, but we can spider it out to any city. Or we can spider it, you know, if you're on a social site, we can uh, spider it right to your city. And if you're typing in keywords, uh, you'll come right up with KUHS Radio. And we've, we're seeing a lot of people log in to our stream, and they're from all parts of the world. It's really nice. And they log in to see what we've got to say to our band members that come in here. And they're enjoying this uh, and listening to you. And so as we keep going, if you have a website we can take a look at, Chasing the Dream, uh, let us know that website. Absolutely. It is Chase in the Dream. Chase, the letter in, the dream com. And uh, you can call my website, check out the demo and, you know, my biography, what we've done and what we've accomplished. And, and all the booking, you can book you through all, there, right? Yeah, all my tour dates are on there, and uh, you can book me. Just there's a page anytime you want to book the band, just, just pull up that uh, information and give me a ring. Sweet. Now that's Chase and the Dream. Yeah. And one thing I try to do, too, when people are booking the band, I try to be the first that they contact mm -hmm. And I talk to them personally. That's and called up close and personal. Absolutely. Yeah, people like that. They think, I talked to yeah. Chase. You know, it's like, yeah, you really did. And they say, yeah, I really yeah. did. You know, so it's kind of nice yeah. to yeah. be able you know. to talk to someone. Because there's a lot of booking agencies in town. Right. They just use the band just so they can cut a little off the top. Well, mm -hmm. I got you this gig. And they try to make themselves yeah. look like they're all there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all so, those agencies. Yeah, it's like, it's like okay, uh, where's the management part of you? Yeah. And so, yeah. Well, yeah, there's got to be a management part of a booking agency. There's got to be because. You know, they should be supplying other things. It's Absolutely. Not just, uh, here, yeah. I got you the gig at 12 and I get 20% so you I, buy it. I just had that conversation last night with an agent. Is you know, I, I don't know. It's, yeah, no, I understand. You know, it's, so it's, there should you know, be, a, and there's been um, uh, talk, and I'm going to get this started with, um, we've got Cher Renee, she's out in Atlanta, mm -hmm. she wants to do some... Uh, uh, management same with uh, Hazel Miller. Mm -hmm. So you know these uh, ladies, and Hazel has been on the on the real big tour scene. So if any oh, of yeah. you guys get big with, let's say you cut some out, you know, records and you know, not records, but some of your digital music, and we get it streamed out here and it starts going big, you have to go out and present it out there. So uh, you're going to need management to go with you to say, "Where's the money?" Right. <laughs> That's the right. bottom line. You know, right. bottom line. And Sue right. Charles, she's out there and she's got that. You know, she runs into a few problems. We know that, but but she's out there and she's traveling. You know, she's been to New York. She's been to Chicago. She's in Chicago. She's going to other places. But you've got to have management. Right. I'm I'm, I'm considering uh, doing that. I've been running my own show here for quite some time, and now it's getting too big for me to handle right now. Yeah. Sometimes, and it's 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 a lot of your time. Let's say yeah. you wasted uh, not wasted, but you're putting in two, three extra, four extra hours. Right. And it's kind of hard that yeah, you're you're doing all that, doing this, doing that. And like I said, if you if you take off, you need you know, your writer to go with you to New Mexico and say, like, right. and if you have somebody, your management taking care of that, that's good. The booking agent can't deal with management. Yeah. Management will tear yeah. them apart. You know, yeah. like, no, exactly. no, this is the way it's got to be. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Even here in town, it's got to be. Yeah. This is the, yeah. You know, so when you're out doing gigs, and I'm going to make it comfortable for you. So, uh, okay, some of the songs that you're playing, um, you're going to do this new Blackberry Jam. Yeah, man. So I'm let's talk. Let's, excited let's, about yeah, let's it. go into that. I, we didn't want to reveal that right away, but we want to let the audience know so you can tell them here. You heard it first on KUHS radio, yeah. uh, internet radio, and TV. We're going to hear it first. What's the new project? Blackberry Jam. It is uh, the name. Uh, it yeah. comes from a friend of mine from Jersey. He's out in New Jersey, and uh, he's an older cat. They had a band way back in the day called Blackberry Jam, and it was very popular. And uh, I was on the phone with him uh, Few months ago and I told him that I want to try to do another project and, and he was like well, what are you thinking about doing I said well I want to do the big band thing I want the horns I want the female vocalist I want the energy and steps and you know I just want to do something totally different than what they're doing out here uh, already and so he said well you know I said what are you, what are you going to call it I said I don't know I I can't call it chasing the dream because chasing the dream is chasing the dream and so uh, he said, man, how about Blackberry Jam? I just revived the you know, name back up. 
Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Well, how about I said, man, well, that's your name, man. You know, that's the name. Now, of how's it feel about you using the name? He name? said, man, I'd be more than honored. I'd be. It'd oh, be an sweet. honor for you to use that name and keep that name alive. And so. you could play off that the, the concept, just like chasing the dream. Absolutely. Like, everybody says chasing the dream is like, and that, right? That's a feel-good name. Right. And Blackberry Jam is also the, the word jam right there. Just is a is a you know a push right there for you. Yeah. It's. Uh, I'm. Really well, you can have the choreography. It. Yes. You can have the full choreography. Absolutely. 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 Full horn section or just uh, two pieces well, or three pieces? I'm going to do, uh, actually, it's going to be, it may be four. Four? Ooh. It may be man. four. It may be two saxophones, trumpet, and trombone. Uh, if not, it'd just be, it'd be the three, but no less than three. Ooh, that's going to yeah. sound really, really yeah. nice. Yeah. And like I was asking you, you say, are you going to do uh, um, Uptown Funk like everybody's, I mean, Bruno Mars, once he launches that, everybody tries to copy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> have you seen his new thing? Oh, of course God. we have. <laughs> we already played it. Oh my God. <laughs> Made it here on KUHS. Yeah. 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 So. Heard it first. Yeah. yeah. Jesse, yeah. Jesse played hey, it. We're on yes. the way. Wow. Yeah, he, yeah. Had it all, he had it Aaron yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yesterday. yesterday. On your show. Yeah, he had it Aaron, of course. After your wife texts you, <laughs> she likes that new one yeah. by Bruno Mars. Yeah, she, every, it, it was like, like everybody was up on our grill and it's like, we know. And Jesse, I said, Jesse, have you heard? I'm, I'm playing it right now. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna, man, we want to bring back some of the style of old guys too, you know, some BG Express. Oh, you yeah, know, we, yeah, yeah. Man, you know, really, that was Tower a day Power, power you know, you know, you know dance. Not, you know? Yeah. And not a lot of people play Tower Power because right. they don't have the horns. Exactly. And so with this new project you're going to get, you're going to have the horns, Absolutely. so you're going to be able to do it. Well, Absolutely. you'll be singing some of the songs like Jesse talked about. Yes. You can do yes. some Tower oh, of Power. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, we're going to just bring back a lot of the, the old jamming stuff, you know, even mix in some Prince stuff in oh, there, yes, you know. Yes. Prince is and, just, uh, he's, on, he's on another level. Just have fun with it, you know, and just have fun with it. And so, you know, but yeah, definitely. And I'm, I'm actually thinking about taking a step back in this band and, and putting the ladies up front and, and kind of really featuring them quite a bit. Now, what know? kind of songs will they be doing? I mean, what will be a lot of. Uh, uh, we talk about Aretha here. Yeah, or are we talking about you know, some of Beyonce that. Maybe or? talking Beyonce. We're also talking Jennifer about Lopez? Jennifer Lopez and and, and 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 what's her name uh, from Miami? Uh, Oh, Gloria Stefan? Yes. Oh, Gloria. Yes. 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 The Miami yes. Heat. Michelle is just dying to do that kind of stuff, and so. Yeah, we're going to be doing all that. And we're the gonna Miami see. Sound Machine. The Miami yeah. Sound Machine. Yeah, well, right. she is the Miami Heat. Yeah, right. <laughs> we all know what I meant. I did. <laughs> you know what? Just because yeah. I catch you sometimes, bro. Yeah, you're yeah. always pointing out. Yeah. Yeah. You always yeah. catch me, you know? But yeah. I got one on you, Jess, because I found you when you're tired and down. I know. Yeah, you're yeah. down, you you're tired. <laughs> you know, when you're playing these songs, you can't please everybody, right? So you just try to, you just try to play a little bit of everything Absolutely. so and nobody like you say, can complain. And like you say, up front, you put you fish. You know, when we feature the ladies, uh, yeah. that really looks sharp. You know, oh, you've had yeah. the Tina Navarro's in town. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got, uh, what's some of the ladies that play around in town? That are well, we got together? Seth Tucker from yeah. Soul School. Oh, right. Seth right. Tucker, I can't forget. You know, she does background vocals. Yeah. She had a baby. Yeah, and her yeah, and Tony Price, shout out to you guys. Yeah. She does background vocals for Kenny Lattimore, Ooh, who's yeah. an uh, R&B singer. Yeah. And you know what? He, he was actually here with Tower of Power one time, and I saw her. We were all backstage hanging out, and she, you know, I asked her, what are you doing here? She sings background for all them. So she's a great, great female singer here. And we got our good friend, Miss Barrow. Oh, uh, Miss Barrow, when's she, she going to be vocals. here? She'll be here uh, Saturday. She's going to get us in the spirit. We Merry Christmas. Yep. She's going to get us in the holiday spirit with her holiday album. So, you know, we got a, yeah. many female. Coco Brown. Coco Brown. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. She used to be with the, uh, you know, uh, Rocky Dorty played with um, Gary Wilson and Coco Brown. They had a. Really, yeah, really good band. I mean, that band was really, really well put together, and it played. They played everywhere. They were together fourteen years. Coco Brown is just, and then she plays with Cheryl Renee when they she comes and does the special shows over mm -hmm. Jazz. Yeah, Jacks. it's really cool. When I first moved out here, it was like I heard all these names, but I, you know, but to go out and actually see all these performers and put you know the name with the faces. Mm -hmm. Was, Jill Carr, really, Jill Carr, really nice. If you heard Jill Carr get up there and sing too, a shout out to mm -hmm. Jill Carr. Yeah. She, they were doing something with uh, Show Renee. Jill Carr was Coco Brown, and they had uh, the mayor's wife was up there too. Oh, wow. That was one. See, and that's another one, oh. Mary Louise. She got Mary her Louise. own band out there. Oh, you know? yeah, and she's doing some fine things, mm -hmm. and she's got a good group. She's a good have some vocal. They have some great vocalists, female and male. And I male. mean, let's not forget about the here. late great Winston Ford. That oh, you know, yeah. uh, Winston was great. I, I really miss him, man. He was a good guy. Oh, you bet. Yeah. 
So um, with this uh, blackberry jam, um, you should have it ready by when? By July. By July. So that's 2015. A, a good six months of, yes. of practicing Absolutely. that up, getting that, uh, those sets down. And mm -hmm. Is everybody ready? Everybody ready. And it's, it's going to be a, a spinoff from Chasing the Dream. So, mm. And so I got What's the nucleus. What's Chasing the Dream going to do? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna still be around. We're gonna still do our things, but we're gonna I'm gonna try to intertwine, you know, the schedules to where, uh, you know, I really want to try to get this BlackBerry Jam thing off off the ground and, and running. Chasing the dream will always be there. But uh, I do any of your children play? Uh, my daughter Maya is a phenomenal vocalist. Ooh, I mean, sweet. she's 11 years old and. She's uh, just got accepted in the Denver School of Arts, and uh, she can really sing. I'm so proud of her. All of them are animated, and, and, <laughs> and you know, kids well, are, Chase, but, you are too. You're and, a front man. You know, front man. I know how to entertain a crowd. Uh, you know, when you go see you guys play, you're, you're entertaining the crowd. There's no dry moment yeah, there. Yeah. If there is, you're backing off and letting the sax player, which already gets Absolutely. already another shout out to you. Oh yeah. yeah. Already gets up there and just you know, floors everybody with that. It's, Really well yeah. put together oh, yeah. sax oh, yeah. playing. Yeah. And oh, he gets yeah. up and down that scale and just goes back and forth and just makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah. It's some um, you know, we have a good time up there. We really do. But yeah, my kids are all gonna be into music. I can already tell. I mean, even my little five year old, he's singing. I mean, I, they are just they're just it's amazing watching them. I don't push them either way either. Yeah, I just let them be yeah, if they want to do it, they do yeah. it. If they don't, yeah. they don't. Absolutely. Yeah, when have you ever had this issue uh, crop up? Okay, you're feeling bad. You, you've got the flu or something's going on. Mm -hmm. You've got two freaking gigs, back to back, oh, even yeah. three. Yeah. And you have to show up. Got to show up. And you show up and do you, do you still give it your all and get after it? You have to. I, I, and, I, okay, now has it affected your voice? I oh, mean, yeah. Colds or it does. that sort of throat. How do you get by? You have everybody else kind of subbed in for certain songs. Let's do that song. You sing it and kind of. Yeah. I'll, kind of try to you know kill it off for yeah, you you know and and but you know i still have to show because you know not that i'm all that but a lot of people come to see me sing so i gotta i have to i have to produce you and, have to deliver right and so you know what i just i just get my honey and uh i go up there and i just give it all i got until i can't give anymore so you know I've have never, you, ever not been able to finish. How Have you ever had this problem? I mean, you're singing up there, jamming, having a good time. There's always the drunk in the crowd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they come and they bother you and almost knock you off your, 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 your singing. You know, it's like, <laughs> and it's all part of the show. Mm -hmm. you know, how do you get around that? What do you, you do? Know, just I just sidestep it, just keep moving? Yeah, you know, you just laugh with it and have fun with it and not get too serious, you know, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure most establishments have security and all so that kind of thing. Off the way. But, you know, what I don't want to do is come off as somebody that act like this was not going to ever happen. Yeah, I mean, it does. <laughs> it does, you know, and, and so you just have a sense of humor with it and, you know, just keep on going, you know. If you had an issue or a situation where you were called out to go do a gig or and uh, car breaks down something happens where you're going to be really late oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's happened that's how do you get around that? feeling like the commodores you know <laughs> you got the guy out there with all the instruments but yeah that's happened uh you well, know there's one fire up at the uh, rocks yeah didn't even show up this really thing. yeah yeah my brother started a riot at that concert he threw, <laughs> he threw his shoe on the stage and that was the end that was of that. it everybody got upset <laughs> yep so, yeah, yeah, it's hard though when you're when you're late. Now, that big of a group, you know, Earth, Wind, yeah. and Fire don't show up. Especially when you're headliners like that, you know. And yeah. they're half of them are from Denver. I mean, yeah, come yes, on, yes, come absolutely. on, you know. And that's what was a, nice to hear. You know, that they came back yeah. and put on a show of unprecedented. I mean, they built it up, and they gave you an extra hour, and they made it up to Denver. It was cool. You came back. I kept my tickets. I went to that show. You know, I left. I said, oh, okay, well, this happens. Like I was asking you, does it happen? So, yeah. yeah and I've yeah, had, it happens. I've had the opportunity to meet, you know, meeting Philip Bailey and Drew, you know, and some of the guys in the band. I was out in California and was out there hanging out with Confunction and them and got to meet uh, Verdine White once down in, in the park there in Oakland, Lake Merritt. And so, uh, you know, I, just talking with some of those guys really, you know, kind of inspired me to, to keep going, you know. That's, and, uh, you know, uh, one other thing, we're getting kind of short on time. We're up on the last five minutes. Let's go over a few more things. Um, your, your new band. 
Um, yeah. <clears throat> now, with your new band, um, do you feel like this band will supersede or surpass Chasing Their Dreams, um, you know, legacy? Uh, you know, I, no, I don't. I, I think Chasing, like I said, I think Chasing the Dream is Chasing the Dream. I think what we bring as far as entertaining and entertainment is something totally, it's going to be totally different than Blackberry Jam. Blackberry Jam is going to be more of a show band kind of thing with me up front some but not as much and so so the, the, the other two ladies are going to actually be pumping it out there for yeah, stepping and, forward and, and there's going to be back and, yeah it's going to be three ladies matter oh, of three, fact three and, total. yeah and so you know <clears throat> hey ladies out there if you're looking to do a gig look me up and you can sing yeah sure you can yeah. yeah sing not with, sing 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 yes. <laughs> absolutely so uh but yeah blackberry jam is is just uh it's just another step forward uh, for for chasing the dream. If you're listening to www.kuhsdenver.com, UHS World Communications, we're brought to you by GVS Computers and a host of other, uh, I would say, sponsors, because we have to keep this place open, don't we? <laughs> so we've already wore out uh, DJ Jesse. You could tell I'm looking at him and right as I, Jesse, you okay? I mean, we could carry you home. <laughs> I'm hanging in. I know how you feel. <laughs> Go ahead, do a shout out. That was a great show last night. Last it was party, a great show. You know, and we had the the pleasure. Rudy Salas, the band leader from Tierra, called us called us this morning and and right before you know, well, right in the beginning of my show, and you know, he wanted to give everyone a shout out. For everyone who went out last night, thank you so much for going out. You guys made it a great success for the first annual Latin R&B Soul Party, and it was a party. So if you're in Colorado Springs tonight, make sure you go to the Stargazers Theater and check out the one and only Tierra. They're going to be there for one night only featuring the Legacy Band and Techita Lopez, the rising queen of salsa music. So make sure you check that out. <laughs> Going to be a good also, one. Jesse, who do we have coming next week? I know we got somebody special coming next, in next week. week Whoa, like we man. said, we got Miss Vero coming in from two thirty to three o'clock. She's going to get us in the in the Christmas spirit, singing her, all her all her holiday all right. out, her music and stuff. And then right after that, we got Mr. Tony Exum. Tony and Exum. Everyone knows Tony Exum. Yeah, I know Tony he was a kid. Doing yeah, that yeah, little kid. And don't you forget, know. we're going to do a Denver takeover of Tony Exum. Uh, did he already do the takeover? No, he did the takeover on Thursday, I think. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so <laughs> I think we did it. Because uh, yep. we're doing the Denver takeover. Mm -hmm. If you got your, your original music, we'd play one full hour of Denver bands' music, continuous. Mm -hmm. So I think we have the Tony Axum takeover. Oh, Tony, yeah. if you're mm -hmm. listening, uh, I think he knew that. that we had. He said, wow, this is, this is bad. So, right. no, next week it'll be the Harold Rapp takeover. Everybody knows who right, Harold right. Rapp is, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'll be the Harold Rap takeover. So Tony Exum will be in here next week as our special guest with Miss Vero. I hope to see you here. We're going to have a good time. You've been listening to Chase Pittman of Chasing the Dream coming out with his new Blackberry Jam band. You heard it first here on KUHS Radio here in Denver, Colorado. It's been a pleasure here serving you with these awesome interviews, bringing in the stars of Denver. And they are the star. They are the popular stars of Denver. And they, you know, they, they need this. Um, to me, they've got to be, you know, heard. They've got to be shown. They've got to be seen up close and personal like this. Uh, being up close and personal, you get to view it uh, via our video stream live. You're live right now. If you want to see it later, you can just click on the Ustream. You'll have to watch a couple of commercials because that's part of our network. And you can re-watch the, uh, the actual interview with uh, Chase Pittman of Chasing the Dream. So at this time, we're going to conclude it at 4 p.m., uh, we'll say goodbye for now and get the music stream going on again. And we'll say uh, thank you, Jesse. You're, you've been phenomenal. I don't know how thank you've been you. holding up all this time. Like I said, I took a nap. <laughs> We're still <laughs> barely hanging. I can see it. And thank you, Chase Pittman. Oh, thank Chase you. Pittman. It's thank been a pleasure you. having you here. And tell Artie. Uh, he missed out completely. Uh, Sorry, Artie. <laughs> I will. We thank had you your much. microphone Appreciate set up it. over there for you. So yep. you, that's your microphone. We kept it dead. So uh, you're not going to get to hear anything from Artie. So. Uh, there you have it, so see you later.